are going to love them. Please give it up for Randall Donovan. Thank you very much. Uh, so, I'm really annoyed by, by people who say, touche. You know, it's a little bit passive aggressive. You know, you know what they're saying is, uh, I think you're clever, but I went to private school. You know, another thing that annoys me is uh, people refer to their life as my journey. Oh, my journey. My journey. Listen, if your name is not Vasco da Gama or Steve Perry, I want to hear about it. You know, give it a rest. You know, another overused usage. Uh, go to. My go to coffee is Starbucks. My go to bread is rye. My go to cheese is cheddar. My go-to racial slur is, uh, hillbilly. <laughs> Where does this madness end, I ask you? Um, so, um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Jewish. You know, I, I'm not proud of it. I'm not ashamed of it either, you know? <laughs> I'm always jealous of the Christians, you know? I, I always felt that Christianity was kind of like a, like a cover band that got more famous than the originals. <laughs> uh, Jewish, Jealous of the Gentile kids, they're always walking around with perfect names like Bailey Parker, Sutton Foster, Campbell, whatever. You know, and you know, and their lives were you know, could be boys' names, could be girls' names, switch the order. It doesn't matter. Their lives were always perfect. You know? The worst when you have a name like Hesh Rosenfeld. <laughs> you know what that means. It means you actually have to study to get into law school. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I had some bad news today. I, I tested positive uh, for, for socialism. And uh, yeah, I, was, I was really worried. I, I, at first I thought it was full-blown socialism, and then it turned out it was only democratic socialism. So that was an hour break. And I realized I'd spent some time Norway, and that's probably where I caught it. You know? So my doctor put me on a very strict, low-sodium diet. You know, he told me not to listen to too much Bjork. And I, it, she's from Iceland. Okay, um, my, my girlfriend is, uh, is woke. She, she's also selfish, which is kind of interesting combination. You know, her pronouns are I, me, and mine. <laughs> She refuses to drink 1% milk, you know. She says it tastes oppressive. <laughs> <laughs> I said, listen, Emma Goldman, you know, when you're fighting capitalism, you gotta drink that shit slow. You gotta trickle down. Okay, that's how you fight them. You know, and she's really radical. You know who she voted for in the past election? Nikolai Ceausescu. Who's <laughs> both Romanian and dead. <laughs> doesn't help the situation. No, and she's also, she's really paranoid, she's a 9-11 she's denier. That's right, yeah, you don't believe it. She thinks the whole thing was staged by James Cameron. Now look, I'm not gonna stand here and dispute James Cameron's cinematic ability. I'm sure that man is a genius. You know, but 9-11 seems more like a Jerry Bruckheimer. You know, um, so, you know, if you know anything about me, you know that I'm not a rebel. You know, I, I, used, to, I used to have a band called Rage in favor of the machine. You know, we did songs like, yo, 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 what's the status quo? See you tomorrow, Shea Guevara. You know, and rocking the patriarchy. You know, that didn't last long. I, Eventually, I started playing bass in this punk band called Three Chords and the Truth. <laughs> the musically applied people, the, the three chords were D, G, and A, and that was it. You know, and the leader of the band was, was, was really, was really hardcore. His name was Ivan. And by the way, Ivan is a Russian name. It means, uh, don't talk to my girlfriend. You know, so, you know, so one day, one rehearsal, I brought in one of my songs, wrote the song called Revolution is for Babies. You may have not heard of it. Um, and and, and uh, the thing about this, this song I wrote, I, I included a B minor seventh chord. So again, this is like a B minor chord. 
a natural added for a jazzy flavor. And, and Ivan lost it. He said, Lorenzo, what is the matter with you? The name of band is Three Chords and the Truth. We play roots, rock, and roll. We don't fuck around. And so, you know, we got into this big fight, but, you know, eventually we made up. And then uh, we went on tour with uh, uh, Michael Buble. So, you know, everything, everything worked out uh, pretty well. Um, uh, oh, yeah, so, um, about a, uh, wow. um, about a year ago, there was this straight pride parade in Boston. I'll repeat that. A straight pride. Oh, Lord. I mean, it was just really nice. I'm trying to picture how this whole thing came to be. And I picture a bunch of guys uh, hanging around some bar in Gloucester or Waltham or Jamaica Plain. You know, one of those goodwill hunting towns. The guy gets on the table and says, Where's your guitar? Of the gays and the Puerto Ricans getting all the good parades. We need to represent for our people. You know. By the way, that was my Robert Kennedy voice. For you youngsters, he was a guy who ran for president. Didn't work out. But uh, so, so they, you know, when you have a parade, you, have, you need some stuff you can chant. So they chant like, down here, we drink beer, get used to it. Down here, we drink beer, get used to it. You know, or something like, uh, uh, hey, hey, ho, ho, the village people have got to go, hey, hey. <laughs> Popular band in the 70s. Um, yeah, or something like, uh, this is what suburbia looks like, this is what suburbia looks like. And they didn't have this parade the following year. And, uh, I can't imagine why. I'm going to leave you with the words of my dad, a lovely man. Um, he tucked me into bed at night. He would say, Randall, always remember, if it ain't broke, I'm not buying you a new one. <laughs> all right, that's it for me. Thank you all.